Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Noble Sports Entertainment. Back to you with another video. We're talking about Detroit's very own Darius Slay. Now, we're going to talk about him in this video and in, in this installment on the Detroit Lions. Um, Darius Slay, definitely one of the most competitive defensive backs in the National Football League. Darius Slay last year led the NFL and was tied, tied with another guy for um, the most interceptions in the season. This is uh, a tremendous feat for the Lions because they needed a guy like Darius Slay. He came at the right time, and um, definitely, man, he has grown from his years of just batting the ball down until uh, being able to develop himself to be able to make big plays. And we know that he goes by the name Big Play Slay. But um, definitely, man, he's the... Uh, He's the he's the he's the leader, man. He's gonna have to be the leader of the team. You know what I'm saying? The keys are gonna be definitely given to him by Glover Quinn. Eventually, when Glover Quinn um, decides to to move on, but um, definitely, man, Darius Slay um, play, played himself into a Pro Bowl caliber status last year and took the league by storm. And what will Darius Slay do for an encore? Is what everybody wants to know. Can he back up the same season that he had last year? Can he be consistent and produce another good season? And I believe that every sign and all signs are important to him to be able to do that again. Um, we talked about Darius Slade being one of the most effective and elite corners in the league. And if you want to be an elite corner, you're going to have to be consistent year in and year out. That's what make corners and that's what separate the good corners or the, uh, the mediocre corners from the elite corners. The mediocre guys, they do it every once in a while. But the Pro Bowl caliber players, every time they're on the field, they can they can make a play. And that's what uh, Darius Slay did last season. Every time he was on the field, he made a play, man. And, I, and I'm very, very proud of this guy to see his growth and development over the years from just deflecting and batting balls down to being able to... Um, to be able to get an interception, man, and be able to uh, solidify his name in the NFL amongst uh, the other great uh, corners that's in the league with the Richard Shermans and the Patrick Petersons, to be able to put his name up there with the other guys like A.J. Uh, Boye and also um, Jalen Ramsey. It's a lot of good corners in the league, but Darius Slay is definitely one of those guys that uh, he would be like a, a thumb on anybody's team. He's going to stick out. So definitely, man, um, the biggest thing for him is just growing and continue to be consistent and having a consistent season. And I think if Darius Slate can have a consistent season, he'll be able to make his second Pro Bowl appearance. And that's something that we're looking for him to be able to share that knowledge with Tease Tabor because you want your young guy, Tease Tabor, to be a good tandem with, uh, with Darius Slate. That's one thing the Lions have. I don't think the Lions have ever had a, um, a good tandem um, as far as defensive guys go. And I think that if they can do that this year, man, Scott's is the limit um, for the Detroit Lions. They're going to have to play tough, man. Um, one thing I say about Detroit Lions, they're going to have to get back to where they were when a couple years ago they were one of the top ten teams in defense. I think if the Detroit Lions can do that and bring that to the table – they will be successful. Defense is going to have to trump out the offense because you're going to need the defense to be able to stop teams that are known to uh, to score the ball and known to make big plays. When you're playing the uh, the Patriots or you're playing the Steelers or those teams that um, can put points on the board in a hurry. So hopefully, man, this will be um, just the, the start of something um, the start of something new with D Darius Slay, and this can be the beginning of consistency for him. That's one thing that you need if you want to be in a league corner. You have to be consistent, and you got to do it year in and year out. You just can't do it one year and think that you should be one of the top corners in the league. No, it don't work that way. You're going to have to go out and work hard, and you're going to have to work for it. And I definitely think that Darius Slay has the talent to be one of the best corners in the league. Now, the biggest thing is what would Darius Slay do for an encore? Now we've seen that he can step up his game and play at an efficient level now, what will he do this season? Will he be able to repeat that? And I'm not even saying that he has to have eight interceptions. I'm just saying that he has to have a consistent season. Peace.